Hey y'all, another Friday and another yummy dessert recipe. Look, I'm gonna have to stop making these for y'all because y'all about to make me extra fluffy up in here and I was already fluffy enough. But anyway, let's go ahead and make it anyway. So we're gonna start out by taking two sleeves of graham crackers and these are just plain old graham crackers. And we are going to make a crust. So we're gonna go ahead and put our graham crackers right into a Ziploc bag. Now, if you have a food processor, feel free to use it. I have one, but it's a little bitty and it would have taken me three weeks to try to crush these graham crackers up. So we're gonna do it in a Ziploc bag. Just try to get most of the air out of there so you don't bust your bag when you're hitting it and you just beat the thing to death right there with your rolling pin or whatever you got. Get you a hammer, get you a pot, whatever you got. Crush them graham crackers up, y'all. So once you get your graham crackers all crushed up, just go ahead and pour those in a bowl and add one stick of melted butter. Now this is how we're gonna make our crust. So you're just gonna go ahead and mix that up really, really good. Get it as mixed up. It's still gonna be a little crumbly, y'all. And maybe that's because I still had, you know, a few big pieces in there. I try to chop them down, you know, the big ones when I see them. But go ahead and just get that butter as mixed in with those graham cracker crumbs as you can. Now, if you don't wanna take the time to do this, feel free to buy, to, to buy, Lord, I can't talk to buy some store-bought graham cracker crust, and that will work just fine. So I was not gonna do mine in a nine by 13 pan. I was gonna split this up and give half to my daughter and her bunch and half to my son because I wasn't fixing to have this sitting in my refrigerator staring at me. So you're gonna wanna reserve about a half a cup of those graham cracker crumbs because we're gonna use those to put on the top later. And then I just went ahead and split it up in between my two little pans and then just mash it out as flat as you can get it. And then we're gonna put these in the refrigerator and let them sit there while we get everything else together. And that way that butter will cool back down and hopefully hold your graham cracker crust together. So while that's sitting in the refrigerator getting cool, we're gonna go ahead and take one block of softened cream cheese and Y'all know I didn't take this darn cream cheese out ahead of time, but what I did, cause I, I thought I was smart, y'all. I had some beans cook, cooking in the crock pot. So I just sat my cream cheese up on top of my crock pot and I kind of let it sit there a little too long cause my cream cheese was a little bit, now it wasn't runny, but it was a little bit soft. So just be careful with that. So then you're gonna take two cups of powdered sugar and you're gonna wanna sift that. Now I love my little handy dandy sifter right there. You just dump it in there and squeeze the little handle and it sifts it right on down. I'm sure everybody knows about these, but you know, that's the only one I've, you know, that I like to use. It's so easy, y'all. It's about $5 at Walmart, I think. So anyway, you're just gonna sift your uh, powdered sugar because you know it's notorious for getting clumps in it. And then we're just gonna take our little hand mixer or a stand mixer if you got one and you're gonna go ahead and get your cream cheese mixed up now i probably could have held off on that step only because mine was you know really really thin my cream cheese but ideally you're still gonna have some chunky cream cheese so just make sure that you mix it up real good before you start adding your powdered sugar and then it just makes it a little easier so then you're just gonna mix it around, just adding a little bit of powdered sugar at a time until you get it all good and incorporated. And you may have to stop a time or two and scrape the sides because you're gonna fling powdered sugar everywhere. But that's okay, just do the best you can. And once you get this all good and mixed up, just set it to the side and we're gonna make another little bowl of stuff because we're gonna have layers to this. So now you're gonna take one little eight ounce container of Cool Whip, and y'all see how fancy I am with the name brand? You know why? It's cause I thought I had Cool Whip and I didn't, and I had to go to the Dollar General and get me some Cool Whip, and that's all they had. So, that's what I got. Then you're gonna take a can, just a regular size can of crushed pineapples, and then you're gonna drain it. Now, as you see, I've still got it sitting over a bowl cause it was still leaking just a little bit, still dripping a little but just drain it as good as you can. And then you're gonna split your pineapple up in your two bowls. Then you just wanna go ahead and mix those up really well. You know, don't over mix your Cool Whip. You don't want it to turn to liquid, but just mix it up real good to where your pineapple's just real, you know, real good mixed in there. Then once our little pie crusts are nice and cool, we're gonna take those out 
and then we're gonna start putting our little toppings on there. Now, like I said, my cream cheese mixture, you see how thin that is? If you do your cream cheese just at room temperature, yours is not gonna be that thin, but mine was. <laughs> so you're just gonna go ahead and split that between your two little pans or dump it in your one big pan if you're doing one. And then we're gonna get that all good and spread out. Now, just be careful when you're spreading this because this, when you make that graham cracker crust, it's not gonna be a, like a solid graham crackle, crackle, graham cracker crust. It is solid, it does hold together, but it's still pretty crumbly. So just be very gentle when you spread your mixture out on there. And mine, like I said, was a little bit soft anyway, a little bit extra soft. So I didn't have too hard of a time with this part. And I do pull it up here in just a second, but I just kind of push it back down in there. But just do the best that you can, just get it spread out. Now, once you get your cream cheese layer on there, you're gonna add your Cool Whip layer. And I was gonna add just a big old, you know, like half, but then I was like, I don't know how easy this is gonna be to spread. So I just tried to put it on there in a couple of big spoonfuls to try to make it a little bit more spread out to where I wouldn't have to fight so hard to get it spread out, you know. Y'all know what I'm saying. So just split it in two. Try to get it, you know, as even as you can so your kids don't fight over who got more what. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, once you get that in there, I started out doing it like I did the other part, but it was just so cool still and, and thick, the uh, Cool Whip part, that I was having a hard time spreading it. So I figured this out. If you stand your spoon up and just kind of hit it right with the little tip of your spoon, like you see me doing right there, it makes it super, super easy to spread. So maybe this is something y'all knew already that I just learned today, but if not, look, we all learned something new. How about that? So just spread it out as even as you can in your little pans, and then we're gonna take our little graham cracker um, that we had set to the side, our little half a cup. Now, if you don't wanna use a whole half a cup when you see how much I put on here, then you, you don't have to. You can use as much as you want. But I just took it and dumped a little in my hand and just kind of spread it all out over the top of my little pineapple dream fluffy things. I think it should have been called pineapple fluff, but I didn't make it, so I didn't get to name it. But just put that over the top, and then you're going to sit that in the refrigerator, y'all, for at least four hours. I let mine sit overnight, and this is what it looks like when you get ready to eat it, y'all. This stuff is so doggone good. Y'all got to give it a try. It's winter time now, but this would be a perfect summertime dish too. It's really, really light. So make sure that you give it a try. I'm gonna pop you another video right over here and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.